<laughs> All right, everybody. Um, we're talking about the refrigerant cycle using uh, an accumulator and an orifice tube type setup here. Um, again, the parts that did not change, that's our compressor, our condenser, our evaporator. Those are still those three big issues that we still have, the three big items. We have our condenser, which is a heat exchanger, our evaporator, which is a heat exchanger, and our compressor, which just basically increases the low side pressures to a high side pressure. All it is is a pump. Okay, and all an air pump does is suck in air and compress it and pump out high pressure air, just like a compressor does. Um, that's a compressor right there. Um, on this type of system right here, we have an accumulator and an orifice tube. On the orifice tube setup right here, it, the, the refrigerant cycle is the same, it's just the locations for the components are a little different. Of course, your refrigerant comes out of your compressor at a high pressure vapor on the discharge side to the condenser, and the condenser condenses from a high pressure vapor to a high pressure liquid condensation liquid. Um, high pressure liquid is pumped out through the liquid line, and then it goes into the orifice tube. The orifice tube is just a fixed, small, uh, little, um, almost like a brass tube that's enveloped in plastic that's located in the line. It actually doesn't really have a bulge in your line. You won't see a bulge in the line that, in that cell. There's the orifice tube. The orifice tube is actually small enough to go inside the, the liquid liner right here, the evaporator. And the orifice tube can be either out the condenser outlet or the evaporator inlet, right at the, right at the evaporator inlet. Um, many vehicles have them here. So many have them here. I've even seen some that had them somewhere between here and here, the condenser outlet and the evaporator inlet. Um, anywhere in that line is great, and it just all depends on the, how the engineers wanted to build that um, AC system there. As it goes, as the high pressure condensed liquid refrigerant here goes through the orifice tube, it is then um, split from a high pressure liquid to a low pressure liquid. And as it's sitting here being um, forced through the small orifice tube, it's going to have some vaporization that takes place as well. It's going to start absorbing absorbing heat. Through there, as it goes to the vapor, it's going to be absorbing more heat from the pasture compartment here until all that liquid that was now low pressure liquid becomes a low pressure vapor. All that low pressure vapor here will travel to the accumulator. That way, if there's any refrigerant that's not boiled off, that's still liquid refrigerant, it'll stay in this accumulator until it actually is boiled off. Um, that liquid refrigerant stays here until it boils off. All the all the vaporized refrigerant will sit here and come out of, of the accumulator here and go to the section side of the compressor. And the cycle starts again. Um, high pressure vapor, high pressure liquid, low pressure liquid, low pressure vapor, low pressure vapor, high pressure vapor, high pressure liquid. And the cycle just continues and continues and continues. Um, and that's basically an orifice tube system. This line right here denotes the high side and the low side of the system here. Um, so the orifice tube is a split point and the compressor is a split point. When I say split point, I mean that's where the, the refrigerant changes from a high pressure to a low pressure or from a low pressure to a high pressure. Um, just be aware of the split points in the system here. Um, if, and what will happen here is because this is high pressure, whether it be vapor or liquid, it's going to be high temperature. Remember, pressures and temperatures are, are, are very re related there. As it goes through the orifice tube, it's going to go from a high pressure liquid to a low pressure liquid slash low pressure vapor right here. And literally, I know on some of the... Um, Silverados in 2000 and up, they have their their uh, service fittings are actually right here and right here. They're only about this far apart, and between the those two uh, service fittings are actually the um, is actually the orifice tube. They're this far apart. Not a big deal because it goes from a high pressure liquid to a low pressure liquid slash low pressure vapor. So just be aware of that when you're working on these AC systems. Um, note the placement of the accumulator. If the accum accumulator is at the from the suction side of the compressor, you've got an orifice tube system. If the receiver dryer is on the condenser outlet, you've got a receiver dryer system. Uh, you'd have a TXV here instead of an orifice tube. And I know on the H block TXVs that we're going to talk about here, they actually have a, a low side and a high side coming into them. So just be aware of that. All right. Like I said, if you have any questions, please shoot me an email, um, text me, send me a message there. Okay. Thanks. Have a great day.